But the second challenge that Goliath throws us in is this one. Is that Goliath wants you to believe that if you lose the hand or the combat between you and me, then the whole country is going to lose a war permanently. Meaning, if I win a battle, everyone will lose their war. Now at first it seems very easy. It's like, well, it makes sense. One fight determines the outcome for the whole nation and one fight determines the outcome for all generations. That's too much at stake for one fight. You don't have to be a soldier to know. You don't win a war by winning a battle. You don't have to be a basketball player to know that just because you won one quarter, that doesn't mean you won a game. But Goliath wants you to lose your ob objectivity. That means he wants you to think because you lost a battle, you lost a war. He wants you to think because you have a bad day, that means you have a bad life. He wants you to think because you had a poor past, that means you will have a terrible future. He wants you to think that because you've been divorced, that means you will never be married again. He wants you to think that because your parents were not there for you, that means that you could never be a good parent for someone else. The devil wants to remove objectivity from your life that you look at the one situation of your life and you like make that determine the outcome for the rest of your life. But that is not the case. Because people throughout the history, all the thieves have looked to the robber on the cross to know your past doesn't determine your future. People who committed adultery look to the King David to know there is hope even beyond the sin of adultery. People who have murdered have looked to Moses to know there is hope beyond the sin of murder. People who've committed sexual sins have looked to the woman who was sinful and whom Jesus says go and not condemn you. They've looked to her to find hope beyond that. People who lost a battle, they always have looked to those people because those people reminded us you might have lost a battle. You don't have to lose a war because your captain never loses a war and if you are on his side, you are going to have a victory. Can somebody say amen? My Bible says the righteous will fall seven times and he will what? He will get up. Goliath says if you fall once, you're done. I have a notice to serve to the Goliath. You are wrong. Amen. You know why he's wrong? Because when David defeated Goliath, did Philistines drop their weapons? Of course not. Goliath is a liar and so is Satan. Satan wants you to believe that because of what happened in your past, you have no hope for your future. He wants you to believe because of what was done to you in your past that means your life could never ever be restored and repaired again. Nothing Christ can do but the Bible wants us to believe. Gospel of grace challenges and changes everything. Everything. God can take something like betrayal of Joseph's brothers and use those events to put him in the throne. God can use something as if you took an arrow and you want to shoot an arrow forward, you will always pull it backwards. And the devil wants you to say, when your life is going backwards, that means you are going backwards. But if you are in the center of God's will and it seems like your life is going backwards, sometimes your setback is actually a setup for something great in your life. And therefore today I want to encourage you, don't lose your objectivity. Can somebody say amen? Don't lose your objectivity. The things that seem like are going against you right now, remember our God it can use the foolish things in this world to accomplish His purposes. Don't lose your objectivity. Don't lose your, don't lose your community and don't lose your objectivity. With God all things are possible in Jesus name. You know sometimes on this side of the eternity we can, we can complain to God for something. But when we die and we go to heaven, Sometimes some of those things we complain to God about, we're going to be praising God for. You know, the people who, who missed the one lady, one actress who missed her train on 9-11 because of a friend who she helped on the road. And because she missed the train, she was so bummed out because now she will come late to work. Except it saved her life. Something she was upset about until the Twin Towers fell and now that upsetness became her praise report. The people who got delayed to a flight on Malaysia's plane, 
who were upset because their flight got delayed or the traveling agent there was one family who missed something messed up their tickets and they didn't get on that flight and they were so upset until 24 hour later they were so happy it just shows that we cannot trust the way we look at our circumstances sometimes and the enemy wants you to look at one area of your life and say look how bad it's going but sometimes that is not how it's going to end up losing a battle doesn't mean losing a war if God is on your side all things are possible if you have committed sin remember men don't drown by falling into water men drown by staying in the water get up shake it off and move forward repent the bible says and move forward with god if you lost a battle you didn't lose a war if you lost your virginity you didn't lose your future you still can regain through jesus christ if you lost your driving record or a driving license if something happened in the past and you feel like your life is to zero it is if you would be an atheist but it's not if christ is your savior he has a tendency of changing and transforming things and our rely on our strength we cannot rely we rely on his power can somebody say amen